So what we are doing here is we are progressing the some steps from one phase to another phase. We are progressing the some step here, right? Some steps we are progressing here. So as part of this some steps, you see, uh, we can now, now some roadmap steps, extraction, configuration, checks, pre-processing, execution. There are six phases here, post-processing. Here, what will happen? Here, you can see pre-processing is running here, which means it is cloning the tables from the original to shadow system here. Pre-processing. Here, the shadow repository, shadow SAP system, shadow will be upgraded here. Why? Because we have chosen as a shadow system here. Shadow, right? Shadow system. In SAP, we have the shadow system concept here. Okay. This is your SAP system. This is your host, Windows host here. In this host, in this host, so this is your SAP. In this SAP, we have the database is up and running here. DB is running here. So this is the SAP, SAP, original SAP here, original, right? This is the repository here. So, original repository, original system, original repository here. So, these are the application tables here, application tables here, right? So, this is the very important, guys. A lot of questions you may come in this screen here, right? So, this is the SAP original. This is the repository. These are the application tables. These all are the application tables here. These all are the application tables here. So DB, DB SAP connected to the database up and running fine here. SAP connected to the database here. SAP and this is the database here. SAP and the database here. Right? So in the SAP, SAP and the database here. So what we are doing here now is we are planning to upgrade our SAP system here. We are planning to upgrade our SAP system here. So as part of this concept, what we are doing is here, here, what we are doing is here. So then we have using the sum tool here. We are using the sum tool here, sum tool here. And all our download patches are available in the here, in the download directory. Suppose the example, this is the download directory. This is the post agent post agent here this is the post agent here h a post agent here post agent right so this is the sum tool here this is the sum tool here so this is the download directory download directory means where our patches are available here download directory here so what will happen what will happen here sum tool this is okay link and so we have started the sum tool using host agent config config host agent like this you started the sum tool right sum tool you started so uh, dot slash sap right some start space config host agent space sid which means you are registering the sum into the host agent you are registering the sum into the host agent then sum will go and connect to the your SAP system here, which means as a first step, what we are doing, you are registering the sum into the host agent and you are starting to connect to the your SAP ECP system, your SAP is sorry, NWD system here, right? So then it is connected to the your NWD system. That is the sum first step here, right? So why, why we are directly, we can directly connect to the sum SAP, right? Why it is via host agent means? So some will not directly talk to the SAP via host agent only. It will connect to the via host agent only. It will via host agent only. It will connect to the your SAP system here. That is the that one we ruled out. That one we know everybody knows that one here via host agent only. It will connect to the SAP system here, right? So then, so once it is done, then what is the next option here, right? So then we have scenario selection, right? In the sum screen, we have the scenario selection also. We got it here, right? So in the during the sum screen, we have the three types of scenario selection. If you remember correctly, one is the single system, then standard, 
then third one is the advanced option here near zero downtime option here mz dm option here single system single system means it's a single system means there is no shadow system concept here sap will introduce the shadow system concept sap introduced the with some tool sap introduced the shadow system concept here which means parallel to parallel to this is your original system parallel to original system some will create the one shadow system here some tool will create the one shadow system here parallel to original some will create the one shadow system here so instead of directly updating some into the here some will update the your patches upgrades everything into the shadow system here so once it is success once it is success here then the data will copy to the here main system here so if it is not success then here it will be there then if it is down or it is corrupted also fine why because it is shadow no business users will log into the shadow system here but all the business users will log into the here while shadow is getting updated business users can log in and they can do that their business work and everything they can do it here right this is the shadow they can do the all kind of things and everything here right that is the shadow concept he can use it here so same concept here also we have chosen here right we have chosen the we need a shadow system here so for that reason only some tool will building some tool will create the shadow system here in the parallel to our main nwd system some tool will create the shadow shadow means same to same same size same kernel it will create the so it will create the one kernel here that is called the shadow shadow kernel shadow kernel shadow system shadow sap shadow sap it will create it here shadow sap system it will create it here and also it will create the it will create the repository it will create the repository here that is called the shadow repository here repo shadow shadow repository here it will create it here right it will create it here so then it will connect to the here why because why because here we chosen as a shadow we chosen as a shadow system here we have chosen as a shadow system here we have chosen as a shadow system here means standard system standard means shadow will be created here right so in the extraction phase all the softwares will be so uh, whatever all the patches softwares will be scanned here whatever there in the download directory whatever there in the sap system it will be scanned it will be scanned it everything is okay then it will go to the configuration phase here in the configuration phase it will ask the uptime how many process we required downtime how many process we required and also then also uptime so and also r3 load r3 sql r3 trans how many process we required all the information will be displayed in the sql and also spdd spau customer configuration it kind of configuration of the parameters and missing nodes if any missing nodes or anything so it will be displayed here it will be displayed here then once everything is okay then it will move to the check phase here check phase it will check the are there any free space any space issues any old update records found old mcex queues found we got the issues yesterday right then all those things it will check it out here so everything is done then it will go to the pre processing phase here in the pre processing phase in the pre processing phase what will happen it will create the shadow sap system then it will create the shadow repository then why because it will create it but data is empty right empty 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 system here but shadow means whatever the data is there here all the data should come to the here same to same same to same right shadow means same weight same height same properties everything should be same right so then in this case so here empty created then so here we should convert the data here right then what will happen in the pre processing phase it will lock the your development object development repository it will lock the your development repository here it will lock the your development repository here okay so it will lock the your development repository here 
So that's why we have the log the development one screenshot I seen in the group, right? Then it will copy the whatever the whatever the the shadow repository here. Then it will copy the data from main repository to the shadow repository. Shadow repository. Why? Because data should be go to here as well, right? Then only it will be shaped the same. Then then only the upgraded patches will be applied to the here in the shadow system. So in this case, what will happen here? In this case, so the data will move to the original to the the shadow system here. Original to shadow system data will be moved to the shadow system here. Shadow system here data will be moved to the so data will be moved to the shadow system here. So data will be moved to the shadow system here. So that's why you see the phase is called the so cloning the tables from original to shadow system here. So cloning is happening here. Cloning is happening, which means so first of all, it should clone. Then only it should be same to same. The main same, original same. That is the shadow concept. Shadow means, shadow Ravi means same to same. Me, another one more person. It should be same height, same weight, same properties. Everything should be same. Then only, then only the scientists will perform the, so some, uh, some test cases and everything, right? Everything is success, then they can perform the main thing here. Maybe if you see in the outside of the world also, uh, outside, within our outside of the SAP, uh, uh, maybe COVID-19 tests, maybe uh, some other any test cases, so anything, so they will they will do it first on the so non-humans. Similar to similar human genes, non-humans, they will they will do it. Everything is success, then they will they will inject on the humans directly, right? So that is the thing here. So directly they won't inject on the humans. First they will test it on the, so maybe different, different animals, everything is okay. Then they will inject on the humans here. So that's the thing here, right? So same as like here, so to upgrade the shadow system first here, so it is converting, it is copying the tables from the original to the, shadow system it is doing here it is doing the all the work here you can see it here all the tables are getting converted here all the cloning tables and tables tables are converting data is getting recorded data 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 getting is moved here right this is happening here this is happening in the system here you can see here this is happening right so that is the system is happening now here then after that after the cloning is done, means after the data is copied to the here, then what will happen? Your shadow will be started. Your shadow system will be started. Your shadow will be started. The, that is what will happen in the, so here the phases are called the extraction, configuration, nothing, checks also nothing here. Then pre-processing, pre-processing here. In the pre-processing step, here, what will happen? So, your shadow, shadow related things means shadow system creation, shadow repository creation, then data will be copied to the main to shadow system, then shadow system will be started. Then last phase here, shadow will be upgraded. Shadow will be upgraded here. Here, what will happen? Here, some tool, some tool will connect to the host agent instead of connecting to the here via host agent. Some tool will connect to the your shadow system here. Then your whatever the download directory files are there here, all will be upgraded, all will be updated. Means your shadow will be upgraded, all patches will be updated to the here. Up to particular phase, up to cloning, so the data is copied to the here. Once data is copied, so your main system, your shadow system, both are same to same. Main and shadow, both are same. Then once it is the same data, everything is same, what will happen? It will disconnect here, then it will connect to your shadow system, then your shadow will be upgraded, shadow will be upgraded here, your shadow system will be upgraded here. Once the shadow upgraded, then it will ask us to take the so backups, then, so some other, then here we need to perform the SPDD data dictionary adjustments we have to perform it on the shadow triple zero client and the shadow system user shadow triple zero client and transaction code is spdd 
we need to do the adjustments here here the developer requirement developers are required to perform these adjustments here developers are required to perform the adjustments here data dictionary objects right then they will perform it in the during the p processing in the pre processing phase once the end of the p processing i mean to say end of the pre processing they will do the adjustments on the shadow system here then then immediately they will go to the immediately they will go to the execution phase immediately they will go to the execution phase here in the execution phase what will happen here in the execution phase so your main system will be stopped here main system will be stopped main sap system will be stopped then whatever the data upgraded here the data will be so the main system will be upgraded the data will be here it will be copied back to the your again here your main repository then all the data application tables will be converted into the here into the main system here these two things will happen in the in the execution phase so here while copying the data if the system should not be up and running system should why because SAP always talk to the repository for the programs, tables, structures, versions, information, everything be do there in the repository. So while SAP is on, data will not be copied here. So SAP will be stopped here. This will happen starting of the pre-processing. Then once the pre-processing is done, then execution, then in execution phase, so your system, main SAP system will be stopped here then data copy will happen to the here to here then application tables will be converted from here to here then then after that in the final final we may have to log into the our main system finally end of the pre-processing post execution completed then we have the post processing post processing in the post processing step the shadow everything will be deleted all the cleanup everything will happen end of the pre-processing we have to log into the our main sap system main sap system then here we have to perform the spau adjustments spau adjustments we have to perform it here so here main two things here spdd they, they will perform it in the so in the shadow system triple zero client at end of the pre-processing they have to perform before entering into the execution then in the, in the execution post processing is completed spau they will do it in the nwd system nwd system they will do it here that is the one thing here right so these are the things we should be consider these are the things we should consider here right so these are the main things here then once it is done then we can run the as a post steps we can run the yes gen post processing activities like yes gen then components checking here any st20 remaining health checks here st22 sm21 logs st22 logs sm21 logs component information all those things we can carry out all those things we can carry out here this is the so this is the entire some upgrade will happen here right here yeah the questions like in which phase shadow will be created pre-processing here in which phase so uh, in which phase we have to do the uh, spdd where spdd we have to perform in the triple zero client in the shadow concept in the shadow here right in the post processing here we have to do it in the so post processing we have to do it in the uh, spau adjustments we have to perform in the main system here right dd means data dictionary objects au means repository objects here a repository objects means it's a tables programs report, reports programs structures these are the so data dictionary means so it kind of like tables elements those are comes under the so data dictionary here programs and reports will comes under the repository here right so those those is the categorized here so here shadow we have to perform the spdd triple zero client here we need the developer here we need the developers here to perform the 
and there this upgrade procedures here right so that is the one thing here any questions from anyone so here we can check the logs as we speak yesterday so here you can check the logs what's happening and all the information here we can check the logs we are still in the pre-processing phase itself here which means it's cloning the tables from the shadow system here so shadow to original to shadow system means this phase is running currently the red phase the red phase is running to the here then shadow will be started then so then the spdd it will ask us to do that one here right this is the things of what shadow system here so these are the long running phases it may continue to run very longer times here from now onwards so we can keep the system running so that it will keep on running any questions regarding the entire sum procedure here so now we have a lot of interview point point of questions here right what is spdd where to perform and spau where to perform what exactly happens in the downtime phase in the downtime phase here from here to here data will be copied here application tables will be upgraded in the pre-processing what will happen shadow where it is created so some tool some tool how some tool will connect via host agent some tool will directly will not connect it here what is the port number for the some tool double one two eight two nine right so then some logs where can we check here here we can check the some logs here right some analysis file utilities so all those things we discuss in it analysis file which phase each time how much time it is taking all the information it will be recorded here all the information we can track it here right if we go to the some analysis file so here you can see so analysis analysis will keep on up to date here analysis will keep on up to date here so these are the components are getting updated from 0, 0, 0, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, and this is going to the 70 okay then your extraction configuration one hour eight minutes executed here configuration phase so so then extraction 28 minutes completed then six phase 22 minutes then pre-processing still it is running it is not updated here so but up to six phase it is updated the statistics are updated here so as of now long running phase is one hour eight minutes by the configuration phase here in that one 43 minutes taken by the which phase which phase 43 minutes 34 minutes db cloning okay prepare for the shadow system control here okay db cloning only so we can monitor like this we can see the process parameters and all the information here that is what okay so this will keep it running okay so any questions from anyone regarding the sum tool discussions is it clear got it okay if any non telugu guys here everybody knows telugu right okay a few members don't know about it last time okay is it clear right at least say yes or no okay, okay so we'll keep progressing the whoever progressing the this activity just update in the group what's happening in the system and everything so that others are aware of so that once it is completed once this is completed so that then uh, we can start the the next step like system copy some other steps are there so, and uh, sap uh, some other uh, things are there those things like uh, uh, security some things are there we will discuss those things okay we'll keep this running